You ready? Come on, let's go. Jill Heckman with her 15-year-old daughter, Emma. Their world turned upside down, not by coronavirus, but because of it. For six months, Jill ignored a newly formed blemish on her cheek. It literally looked like a little freckle and it didn't change for the longest time. And I was like, oh, I've developed a beauty mark. And over the last, I would say six months, I started to notice it a little bit more. Jill had a telemedicine visit, but the dermatologist told her no big deal. Eventually, just to be certain, she went in for a biopsy. You were confident I put it off coronavirus, the pandemic, the reason I put it off, but this is going to be okay. This, I was very confident until that phone rang at 458 on a Tuesday afternoon. And she said, I don't even know how to tell you this, but it's invasive melanoma. Jill's story during the pandemic is not unique. According to a recent Dana-Farber Cancer Institute study, in the first months of the pandemic, cancer screenings dropped by more than 75 percent. In theory, there is a fear that some of the cancers, I wouldn't say as much missed as perhaps would have been diagnosed at a later stage. Here's where Jill's story may shock you. This 50-year-old's job, she's a doctor, an OBGYN. You purposely wanted us to see what happened to your face, why? Well, I think, I think it tells a bigger story. You know, I want someone to look, look at my face and say, oh my gosh, like, could she have done something different had she gone in earlier? It takes a lot of courage to sit here and, and admit own it. this, yeah. It does, and I, I think it's gonna help me by owning it. I am a doctor, but I'm also a human, and I made a mistake. And you want others to learn from this. And I want my mistake to not be other people's mistakes. So if, if I can help one person get into the doctor because I did this story, I'll be happy. In one way, Dr. Jill was lucky. Her cancer measured 0.4 millimeters. Had it been 0.3 larger, she would have had to begin chemotherapy. The scars, however, will remain for life. It cost you. It cost me a lot. Big warning to everyone. Big warning. Indeed. Look at my own family, both my parents, my aunt, uh, a cousin all died from cancer. My sister and another cousin survived cancer. And so wake up this morning, listen to what your oncologist and doctors are saying. If you use the pandemic as a reason to skip that checkup, no more waiting, guys. Time to go in and get that checkup. Yeah, melanoma is personal in my family, too, Carrie. That really is an important warning, the courage for Dr. Jill to come forward. But a reminder for everybody watching right now to look at your loved one and say, hey, what do we need to do? Let's get lives back to normal and start to see those doctors. Absolutely. What an important story, Carrie. Thank you so much. Thanks for bringing that interview to us. She was so powerful. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.